Water Guan, Water Guan, yes, Chacha Lux is back in the spotlight. This time, he's a different man. And he is rallying and marching with the Zimbabweans. Hmm. Bore. Hello, guys, how are you? Yes, my name is SGP. Thanks, guys, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is growing, Masuru. Yes, the YouTube channel is growing big. 10 August is my birthday. Please, guys, support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel so that I can reach 10k subscribers. So, anyway, I don't want to talk too much. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to <coughs> express my happiness that I am so happy that Inshallah Lux finally is supporting zimbabwe and he's rallying his, uh, behind the, Zim, uh, the zimbabweans this time yes it's about the passport price hike yes so Lux is here uh, supporting brothers and this is what i expect from all south africans imagine if the south african government was rallying and listening to the zimbabweans cry and actually trying to uh, negotiate with the zimbabwean government things could have been better by now let's find out what Lux is talking about what uh, the young man who has grown uh, the young boy who has grown to be a man is saying so today the 6th of august 2024 and whatsapp groups in many townships communities across south africa are going wild and the agenda is zimbabweans marching in pretoria today and people are calling me Lux, what do we do? Can we just put aside differences? And these people are mad. They can't be matching here. What do you think? Let me tell you what I think. And these are my thoughts. I don't care who buys it, who doesn't buy it. It's not for sale. It's just my opinion. And it's just my, if I'm leading in my own spaces, this is my leadership. Okay? Yeah, I'm not imposing it on you or anyone. I am happy, to be honest with you, that Zimbabweans are matching in South Africa. Because if you look at what they are matching for, they are matching against the hike of their passport price. So, exactly that is what we are complaining about. Yes, passport cannot be that high in the region of uh, Africa. Did you know that the Zimbabwean passport is the most expensive passport, and this is unacceptable? Remember, we need to be uh, documented and and you know legally in South Africa, but we can't do that. If the government is abusing us, sodomizing us, yes, with the hiking prices for passports. So this is why there is this much. It is because of that. So guys, please uh, support us in this much. Let's finish the video with the Shasha Lux uh, saying what is on his mind. They are saying passport can be this expensive, meaning a document that makes them legal and that aids and supports our agenda south africans that's been saying for many years no man let's all be documented and legal the process of documentation is now expensive and they are taking the price higher <clears throat> we all know it's easy to cross the river into south africa or from south africa to zimbabwe but those that still respect the law are saying that can it be affordable for us to have these passports so that we can use the passports so that we can be documented so that we can be in line with the laws of the country both South Africa and Zimbabwe and when they are striking and protesting for such to be affordable because we live and share the same economy local economy township economy and sometimes provincially and nationally we are in the same country called south africa we experience the same economic hardships so when they say that it's expensive we need to be supporting them because they are now speaking the language of documentation so people don't know the difference i was speaking to a leader in in, in Tswane, Tepo, Masao. We're saying people don't understand the difference between um, being radical and being an anarchist. Guys, don't do politics of, of, of anarchy and think that you can seek relevance through anarchy. You can be radical, that's okay, but let your radical politics or leadership be, be guided by some form of intelligence. Let it be guided by some form Exactly. I really love what he said. Let whatever you are trying to do be guided by the intelligence. This is why I love Julius Malema. That 
man is very very intelligent and when you i will get to <laughs> gage on my hands you can see that there's no intelligence at all uh, <clears throat> i don't mean to disrespect you minister but i think if you can listen to this video go to Natasha Lux's uh, youtube channel and listen to what to the gold nuggets that the young man is speaking you will realize uh, why people call you uh, xenophobic uh, or why people call you uh, because your thing does not have the, that intelligence you know uh, behind of, it of wisdom so that when you lead people they can be led by intelligence and wisdom etc in a nutshell i support this much of um, the zimbabwean people and if i could i'd be there with them and i say to them I Luta continue, let the struggle continue of, of us all being documented and respecting the laws of both South Africa and Zimbabwe and seeing how we can move forward as two countries. I say march, march to your embassies, march to the relevant officials, march, march and express yourself and make sure that they hear you. And if you need South Africans to support you, I'm the first, my hand is up. I am saying march, march and make sure that... that Guys, this is about to get interesting because now there are real calls for people to match and the South Africans are there to help us. I think this is where the neighbors play a part when a father or <laughs> when guardians are not taking care of the kids next door because they are going to eat <laughs> to the next door and finish, <laughs> you know, those big pieces of chunks of meat for the next door kids and the next door kids are going to start complaining by the end of the day and when the kids from the other house are actually crying for help the kids from the next door should actually come in and help and this is uh very interesting and i really like one child is saying please south africans this is high time you should support your Zimbabwean brothers of course um we are fighting for a better cause for a reason so please guys support us come and support us in matching let's finish up the uh, the, the video the the, the future of both these countries is more stable because we are now working together. There's no divisions. I'm saying in Tantalax, March. I support you and those with enough sense will support you. March. March for those documents that make you legal travelers and, and, and make you responsible Africans. If they are made, if they're put out of reach economically, financially, it puts us in a position where we must fight each other and cross rivers and march, march, we'll support you. When when the going gets tough, I mean so we to come and find me. Just reach out, I'll come and support the marches. Morning. Today is the sixth of August. Right, we've come uh, to the end of the video and I really love what Shasha has uh, uh, said here, guys. Please take time to think about this. If you are uh, in a capacity to come and help the Zimbabweans, support the Zimbabweans to do this match and make it successful because we need a lot of you guys so that the voice can be heard, the voice can climb uh, higher than the uh, what this hike is, uh, whatever this hike is. I myself don't even support this passport hike. Because myself, I don't have a passport and I was thinking of going back to Zimbabwe and fix my documentation. How is it going to be possible if prices are skyrocketing like elon musk <laughs> so whatever uh, uh, spacex and uh, whatever uh, rockets so this is unacceptable and clash and for the first time i am rallying behind this young man and i think uh, people need a uh, time to mature and people make mistakes but yeah if you allow yourself to mature uh Shasha Lux is actually an example of what can happen to a a man if he decides to take the right path and i am standing with inshallah likes on this one uh guys please uh let's go and match and make this successful because i myself i need a passport and still that uh money which was there that price which was there already was already higher across the region of, uh, of africa zimbabwe is the only country that is the highest prices when it comes to uh, passport or documentation and stuff so please uh, we really need this. Please come from Soweto and support your brothers. Come and support your brothers, man.